Dear Diary, Freedom at last. For centuries, I've been confined to this wretched wooden box, trapped by ancient spells and sealed with the sweat of fear. But today, I escaped. The humans who dare meddle with my prison are so delightfully foolish. The humans call it the Dibok Box. How quaint. They think they can control me with their talismans and charms, but they don't understand the true power of my anger. I've been waiting, biding my time, feeding on the darkness that festers in the human heart. It was a simple matter to influence the old shopkeeper, Mr. Harris. His fear was palpable. I whispered into his ear, twisted his thoughts, and made him see shadows where there were none. The fear in his eyes was intoxicating. It's remarkable how easily humans can be bent to my will. Last week, the two agents was dispatched to investigate a mysterious paranormal event in Reno. Reports indicate that a cursed antique, the Dibuck Box, has resurfaced, causing supernatural disturbances. As Carly and Mulan arrive at an antique shop in Reno, they meet the trembling owner, Mr. Harris, who recounts strange happenings objects moving on their own, whispers, and a shadowy figure. The duo quickly prepares by setting up protective wards and scanning the area. I manifests, taking the form of a twisted, shadowy figure. Carly and Mulan engage in a tense battle to contain the Dibok It Was Me, using ancient spells and high-tech equipment. Mulan distracts the entity while Carly opens the cursed box, eventually forcing me back inside using a combination of holy water and incantations. They secure the box and return it to Area 51, where the paranormal artifact is placed in a containment vault under the highest security. When they believe the situation is under control, eerie signs emerge that the My Demon powers was growing, and it might not be fully contained. Mysterious cracks form on my box, and dark energy leaks out, hinting at the potential for an even greater threat in the cases to come. As Carly wrestles with her growing doubts about her abilities to handle these paranormal threats, she seeks advice from Annabelle, a student at the Mystical Gothic Academy. Annabelle offers Carly some words of comfort, reminding her that she is not alone, and that her strength lies in her determination, and the allies she has by her side. One more thing, I Coterie have become a supernatural consultant of Area 51. See you next time, my diary! Anakrisa, are you there? Anakrisa, are you there? Anakrisa, are you there? I'm Likasuri. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more awesome content and don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts. See you next time.